What is up guys? It's Eric, Chris, back from Urban Ghost Hunters, and guys, this week Chris and I finally decided that we were going to kind of do a finale here at the mausoleum. Um, guys, if you watched our very first video that we did here when we captured some crazy evidence, you see that at the end of the video, it was to be continued, and we were standing actually in front of the old crypt, which is all the way across on the other side of the cemetery. So anyway guys, what we decided to do, we kind of decided to amp it up a little bit. Chris don't really know this, but what we're going to do is we're going to do a 30 minute alone challenge, each one of us, at each location. So Chris is going to do the mausoleum, I'm going to do the crypt, and then we're going to switch and we're going to each go back and forth. Anyway guys, we're going to do this, we're going to see if we can try to capture some more evidence on our own. It's crazy, we were taking the equipment in there, getting ready to set up. And what did we hear as soon as we opened the door? It sounded like a child's place or something. It was crazy. So anyway, we checked the whole place out already. We've been through it thoroughly. You guys have seen this place, so we didn't feel like there was any need for you guys to see that boring footage. So anyway, guys, also we got some new merchandise that's going to be dropping. It's going to be hitting starting December the 31st. But through the end of the year, if you go and check our site out, we're dropping the link down below in the description. Put UGH20 for your 20% discount on all merch. Start December the 31st. The new merch line does come out, so be sure to wait and check that out. Also, guys, I'm going to drop a link to the very first video with the evidence that we captured here. It's astonishing. If you haven't seen it yet, go check it out and then watch this video. Guys, enough of the talking. You ready to do it? Mm -hmm. Let's hit it, guys. Wait a minute, yeah, I gotta do that again. Do it again, do it again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, so we're fixing to get ready to go in. Chris is uh, getting amped up. Are you ready to go, Chris? Oh, all right. We just wishing Chris good luck. <laughs> That's obvious. All right, guys, so we're gonna go in here. I'm gonna walk in here with Chris and get set up and get ready to go. Man, it is. It's, we checked the temperature. Oh. It is, it's you like, see your in here. yes. Oh. Yeah, all right, guys, so it's like 65 degrees. It's unnaturally warm right now. And the, uh, it just got through storming here. It's still probably gonna storm again, but all the ground that you can see is actually, it's actually pretty wet. From the condensation it's about 10 degrees cooler in here than it is outside so chris is gonna get set up yeah the whole floor is wet right here just be careful watch your step yeah. so, <laughs> we walked through here make sure nobody was in here already chris is uh getting his stuff together and guys what i did was we came over here so chris has got all this stuff you see right here we got the mail meter, we got the ghost box, there's the EM pump, he's got the K2 meter, the digital recorder, we got a night vision camera, laser grid, that's gonna be cool. Hopefully, I'm thinking Chris is gonna set up the regular camera and gonna let it shoot down the hall while he's using the night vision camera. That's probably what he's gonna do. Um, he, he's got everything to play with, it's all there for him. If he wants to, whatever he's gonna do, I'm gonna let him surprise you guys. I'm gonna go outside and walk around, walk through the cemetery a little bit. I'm gonna take you guys along with me while Chris is doing his thing and then we're gonna head over to this crypt and that way I can do the crypt while he's there. Did you find that battery? Yeah, there you go. If you need any other, if you need any other gimbals or tripods or anything, they're all in the bag right here, Chris. If you need another infrared light, it's up here also. Chris, I think, I think Ouija already started your 30 minute timer, so I'm gonna get out of here. Are you good to go? Or you need a light, you got a light? All right, the only light Chris has got is that flashlight. 
It's the only light he's got in here. That's all you see. I'm going to turn my light out. That's it. That's all he's got. So you see, that's just how dark it is. And of course, it won't be dark for you guys because you're going to see night vision. The only ambient light source he's got, you really actually can't see, but there's a window on each end of the corridor, the mausoleum. And that's pretty much it. And that looks like a shadow that just moved straight ahead to the behind you in front of that window. I don't know. Maybe it's a reflection of the light. Did you see it? Yeah. Yeah. There's I, something going on over there across. Yeah. The that may be lights from the interstate. The interstate's just right back there. So yeah. that may be what that is. All right. All right, guys, so Chris is gonna get to it, and we're gonna head out and let him go with it. All right, Chris, good luck. We'll see you in a few. If you need anything, just scream. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro. I'm gonna shut these two doors, okay? If I can get them to open. There we go. All right, guys, so Chris is going in there. It's shut. All right, you guys want to come do this? I mean, it would be pretty fun, wouldn't you think? All right, so anyway, we're fixing to walk out. We're gonna probably gonna walk around to check a little bit of the cemetery out and while he's doing that, but I did notice in some traffic, it's kind of in a really kind of rough part of town. And so the light's almost too bright. See if I can turn it down. All right. All right. So anyway, it's it's kind of a rough area of town, and there's a lot of traffic creeping through. So what uh what, what I'm gonna do? I may walk around, but if I see some traffic moving around, we'll kind of lighten it up a little bit and kill the lights and kind of regroup on that part. But anyway, guys, let's go check it out. Hopefully, Chris gets everything going. I can't wait to get in there myself. All right, guys, stay tuned. Camera's moved because it's not going to see. I don't think I have a stain in here for that. I'm hearing little bits of noises here and there. Not sure if it's from outside or in here. Hmm. Okay. It's on. Turn this on. What's up, guys? All right, so I'm back, and I'm actually leaving the mausoleum. You see, it's right behind me. 
So anyway, we're gonna leave there. We're gonna walk around out here for a bit. Really, really not a whole lot of stuff other than you can see some of the uh, some of the old graves. I'm not gonna walk too far off. I'm gonna walk over a little piece just to kind of get get away from the mausoleum so I don't try to try to get you know cause any kind of contamination while Chris is doing his thing but guys it is like this place is like really really creepy at night time um, totally uncomfortable a lot of drug activity here so it does make it kind of hard to uh, you know sometimes a lot of traffic was coming through here a while ago so we're just kind of kind of watching our six but you can see a lot of these graves you can see I mean like 1988 or 1888 to 1919 now I think Elvis's mom was buried like right over kind of on the edge of a hill I don't see it right off the bat I think it's it may be right across from us but see it's signals when you come in <coughs> they uh they just sound really funny at least to me it does Anybody want to say hello to me? Morning. Morning? <clears throat> well, good evening. <laughs> I don't know if it seems like it's morning to you guys, but it's it's quite dark outside. Although I don't think it's around midnight or anything of the sort. It feels really chilly in here. At least it feels like it. off, I think. I 
<laughs> this IR light is kind of weird. I need to get a new one. Alright, now, since... <clears throat> they weren't it. Ugh, they didn't want to talk that much. Let's see, where's my flashlight at? Here it is. Uh, crap. There we go. Uh, let's put this up. It's 58 degrees in here, guys. And it's about roughly 64? 65? Something like that. Outside. Now. It's a little bit of dust on here, so if you see anything, see any dust, you might see dust on here. So, just a fair warning. I believe I say it just about every time I come here. There's dust in here, always. And then, there it is. Now, the tripping and dropping, they sound like there's just like little footprints, little footsteps. It's kind of creeping me out a little, but it's not that bad. I know it's water. And as far as I know, there's nothing here to hurt me. And this, oh crap, those are don't work. Well, that sucks. Looks like I won't be using a laser grid. That sucks. Hmm. We're just going to sit here. That's enough for the noises. See if we catch anything on our audio. Besides the uh, cars in the background. If anybody wants to talk to me, they can come close to me and talk into the camera. There's a microphone here if you want to say something. Do any of you recognize me? What's my name? Drip. How do you like being here? That may have been dust. I don't know. I've seen it on my camera. It's hard to tell.
How old are you? I'm just throwing out questions to see if I can elicit a response. I like to ghost box and all, but I kind of also like to just talk into the emptiness. See if I can get a response of some kind that's on the recording that I can hear later and get thoroughly spooked if I do. If not, oh well. At least I tried to talk. Do you like people coming over here to this mausoleum? Thought I heard a female hum. Hope I caught that. It sounds like a hum. It's loud enough for me to hear. Are you male or female? Is there anything that you'd like to tell me? I'm getting a little sick, guys, so in case you hear me coughing or sneeze, sniffling, sneezing, whatever, I'm just a little sick. I don't really feel spooked out or anything. It's just... Quiet. Oh! Alright guys. What that means. It's time to back it up for me. So, we're recording. Chris is right there. He's fixing to get out of here. He's going to start the timer as soon as he gets outside. And uh, guys, I'm going, I've got the laser grid. You can see it right there. It's going. And um, the uh, laser grid's going. All I've got is a flashlight if I need it for some strange reason. I, I'm not going to use it. Chris is shutting the doors. So it's just me, you guys, and whatever else is here. Let me let Chris shut that other door and get out. And that was the sound of that. Okay, guys. So, I'm going to walk right down here real quick, just so you guys know there's nobody in here. Hello? I don't come to cause you any harm. I'm just here to make contact with you. see absolutely nothing all I see is that laser light down there 
I see a light at the end of the hall. There's another window at the very end of the hall. But anyway, guys, I'm going to. Hello? I see my breath. Uh, kind of, it's not humid in here, but the moisture level, the humidity level is high. It's not hot and humid. It's just humidity level is extremely high. Anybody in here that wants to make contact with us? I'm by myself. Nobody else is in here with me. Guys, I saw that on the camera, on the uh, monitor. Of course, it's, it's pitch black in here, so I have no idea what I'm looking at. But that's not my breath. I don't know, it's just moving through the air. You see that? I'm guessing that's probably moisture. Anybody down here? Okay, so I literally just started getting this crazy, creepy like the hairs on my arms are standing up right now. I don't know. Hello? It sounds like somebody's walking back here. Chris said he heard what he thought sounded like somebody humming. Hello? Anybody back here? Saw a shadow. Hello? Who's down there? Can you make a noise for me? Alright guys, so Chris said just within 30 minutes he had a fully charged battery that was depleted. And I'm looking here, I haven't been in here five minutes and it is already at 60%. Wow. There it is, okay. Hello? My whole left side is absolutely frozen right now. And I just heard it sound like a step, somebody taking a step. I don't know if you can really see inside because of all the moisture. But I'm pretty sure that. This lot. Anyway, it's pretty large indoor mausoleum. You just can't really see a whole lot. I don't know if you can really see in there, but anyway, there's a bunch of these out here, and these are all put in in the earlier part of the time of the cemetery's history. Across there is a big bank. And you got the 
interstate that's right behind us there. You can see over there. But So if it lights up, you should still be able to see. There's another noise. I'm not. I don't want to chase noises all night. Hello. Chris heard you humming. Can you can you hum for me? Can you hum a tune? Can you whistle? A two meter hasn't gone up at all. I got it right here. Is there anybody here? You can come up and touch the device that I'm holding in my hand. It won't hurt you. It'll just let me know that you're here. It'll light up for me. Can you can you come up here and touch it? You don't have to touch my hand. You can just touch the device, touch the end of it. It'll light up. We're just here to document that you're here. Can you hear my voice? If you talk, I may be able to hear you through my camera. I'm gonna get a device out in a few minutes that will help me hear you if you wanna to talk to me. I bumped the wall with the K2, I can't see it. It's so pitch black dark in here. Anybody here? I can't see anything. All I see is that window at the end of the hallway. But I see nothing on my sides at all. I don't know what I see in the little bitty screen. Can you make something move for me? Make a noise? Just make a noise. It's so creepy being in here, and, and I know I'm in here by myself. And I know that Chris, that Chris is out there, but you know, Chris ain't gonna mess with me. He's not gonna do a jump scare. He's, we're pretty serious about when it comes to this ghost hunting stuff, so. And he knows how much this place draws me to it. If there's anybody here, you can come up and talk to me. I don't mean you any harm or disrespect. I'm just here to document that you are still here. Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Can you tell me your name? Can you make something move for me? I hear something shuffling behind me. I'm gonna walk to the end of this corridor right here. I'm not gonna walk to the other end because it's pretty much the same thing and I'm letting that laser grid run down there. I don't like 
having my back to it and not being able to see my surroundings. Oh, I just heard something moving from in there. This one's got a tarp over it. You can see, and it's locked. There's a cable right there. It's a cable lock. They're obviously doing some work in there, and it's got a pretty foul smell to it, so I don't really know what they're doing. Hello? So it's quite a big temperature drop in here. It's about a 10 degree temperature drop. I'm watching the, I'm watching the mail meter walking by. Let's see what corner, I don't wanna hit that corner. That was me walking in the dark and I hit the wet floor sign. That's all it was, it scared the hell out of me. Oh shit. All right, so. The humming come from that corner that Chris heard. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab the, I'm gonna come right here to where this wet floor sign is. I'm gonna pick it up real quick. And pick it up. And I'm gonna set, set it up here against the, where am I hitting? Okay. I'm gonna set it up right here against the, hey. Floor is slippery, it's so wet, it's slick. Alright, guys, so it's creepy as shit in here. Like, I feel really uncomfortable right now. Alright, so hello? Gotten a couple of little blips on the K2, nothing major. All right, guys, so I'm fixing to turn my flashlight on. I keep hearing something coming from right there. That's this side. I'm gonna shine my light over there. That's the side where. So the side where Elvis is buried at. So, anyway, guys, I'm gonna. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to turn the ghost box on. I'm going to look. Let me look real quick. I'm going to look and see how much power this. Okay, so it's not putting out that much more light, that infrared light. We're going to keep using the one we got right now. We're going to save what we've got on the, for the monster, I mean the crypt. But, wow. Just heard something else. Hello? Move something for me. I hear you moving around down there. Can you move something? Make a noise? All right, guys. So let's do a quick ghost box. There's the, there's the ghost box. I'm going to sit right here. And we're gonna, we're gonna see if we can set it up. All right, guys. Uh oh. All right. So let's turn this on. All right. All right. So I'm not gonna be able to hear anything going on in my background. We're gonna run this to see if we can catch anything. Hello. My name is Eric and I'm here to communicate with you. If you come up and talk to me, I may be able to hear you. Can you tell me your name? Where are you at?
I don't see you. Can you tell me where you're at? Who's here with me? Tell me your name. Okay, so. Hello? So the batteries are going dead in the laser grid. Oh, well, yeah. All right, so let me, hang on, let me see if I can get it to. There we go. All right. Let me change this please, right? Who's here with me? Anybody here with me? What's your name? I think my 30 minutes is up, guys. I see a light. So, guys, I made it 30 minutes. All right, guys, I'm going to turn the ghost box off. Now's your chance to say something. All right, I'm turning the ghost box off. I'm ending this communication. That almost sounded like it said, end it. Dude, it, it's kind of creepy in here with no lights. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, so, guys, that's, I got my 30 minutes down. Chris got his 30 minutes down, guys. You know what? I mean, it's creepy. I mean, I heard, hey, Chris, I actually heard, I heard what sounded like somebody walking over there. Hmm. Over there, not out. Mm -hmm. And then when I was walking down, down yeah. through the, yeah, down through that corridor right there. Actually, <clears throat> it sounded like somebody was right in front of me in this room. Look, right here. I clearly heard what sounded like somebody like did this. Like that, like this. Two, two shuffles. Huh. In... That room right there, the one that's locked. Yeah, and that's what I, that's what's crazy, dude. It, it kind of smells weird down here. Can you smell it. Yeah, it took that light. It was like that. Was, it shouldn't even be smelling. I mean, maybe it is because it's a little warmer today, but I don't know. That's that's weird. But yeah, I clearly heard what sounded like two distinct shuffles, like just like a shuffle. It wasn't even like a footstep. It was just a shuffle. No, I actually I didn't even walk down there because I had the laser grid going and I didn't. Now I walked right after I started. I walked down to the end down there, and then walked back up, and then I walked over there. I didn't hear anything, but right here, these two corridors was where I heard everything. All right, guys, I'm back. It uh, actually turned it off while we were trying to get the camera in plot spot. All right, hang on, guys. Okay, there you go. So we can actually see. Let's see if I can totally scoot this back just a hair. So I'm not going to have. I've got a flashlight with me, but I don't see any reason to need it. I can actually, well, actually, I can't see the floor. I thought I could, but it's so dark in here I can't. 
Um, all right, I might see it just where I can kind of sit on the edge of the floor. And <clears throat> hang on, guys. see I don't know if you can see that and we're let's start it right now all right guys let's do it let's set that over here I'm going to go sit right here by this hole crypt and see if we can make it. So I know you probably can't see it, but about about 150 yards that away is a mausoleum. So, so this looks like some kind of big sarcophagus. I don't see a name or anything. Yeah, there's some writing up front. Man. His work is done, his deeds live on forever. That's what the writing is. Oh, it's up top. I don't know what it, I don't know exactly what it says, but. I don't 
see the last name. Born in 1841. Dad in 1912. Wow. Could you just imagine what... Ooh, that's slick. Could you just imagine what it would cost? Today. I couldn't even begin to imagine. <laughs> James Theodore Harrahan. <laughs> Alright guys, so anyway, I told you the battery looked like it was dying. This battery is dying. Um, anyway guys, well, so we're going to get right back into it. It seemed like we were getting maybe one or two responses. But anyway, we're going to do it. We're going to hit it again, make sure this light's working. Yep. Okay. So, let's get right back into it. Make sure I get this light pointed. That way you guys can see where we're at. Alright. Alright. So, we got that light going. Alright, I'm going to walk over here. Timer's still going. We're about four minutes into it. No. Yep, four minutes into it. Let's keep going, okay? Let's get to it. That box for me. You're here. It won't hurt you. How many, how many spirits are in here with me right now? Four. Can you give me your names? in here as I did at the Monster Inn. Still enough, I mean, it's creepy, but it's not too bad. Like, I can see the door is right over there. Do you see the door? Do 
Can you say A? Tell me what year you were born. Or give, or give me a name. Alright guys, up a little bit. Were you buried in here? If you were buried in here, where did they move your body to? Is there really a heaven and a hell? Is anybody still buried in here? How many people are still buried here? Can you throw something or move something or make a noise to let me know that you're here? Wait to play this back and listen to it instead of the headphones on. Guys, if you hear anything, if you hear anything with your headphones, if you see anything in the background, you know, we send these videos out and have them edited and put up. We do go through them, but we might miss something. So if you do see something, if you do hear something, be sure to let us know down in the comment. And we'll uh we'll give you a shout out for it. How many spirits are in here with me? I just saw something move right over here. Is anybody in here? Who's in here with me? I swear to God, it looked just like I saw a shadow, right? Well. Who's here with me? Don't be afraid to come up and talk to me. The K2 meter hadn't gone off at all, as far as I can tell. I haven't seen it go off. But you guys, it's right, it's right there, still on the floor, right next to the, the burial, burial wall. Also, guys, now I mean, where the camera's sitting, you'll see this is the burial vault. Also, so. Burial vaults are here. I mean, they're they're in the floor and they're in, in the wall right there. So they're everywhere. Right. I don't know what that said. Can you repeat that? Can you repeat what you just said? Are there good and evil spirits? Demons? That sounded like some to me. Do demons hang? Do demons hang out at cemeteries also?
that sounded like the deep quiet. I don't know. I'm, I can't wait to get home and play these back. Tell me your name. Give me your name before I close this session. What? That was Wyatt. That sounded like Wyatt two times. Clearly two times. It was the same voice that said it two times. Can you say your say your say your name for me one more time? I know that said Wyatt. Wyatt, are you still here? Where are you at, Wyatt? My whole body just got chills. Chris is coming, but yet I don't want to stop. Where are you standing at, Wyatt? Where are you standing at? Wyatt, can you tell me what year you were born? Wyatt, I've been here almost 30 minutes. Can you, I need, can you tell me goodbye? I'm fixing to wrap this up and get ready to leave. Thank you. I heard that clear as day. It said thank you. All right, well, we leave you in peace. Thank you again for talking to us. All right, guys. That was another voice I captured right at the end. All right, guys. So I got Chris standing at the door, making sure I'm okay. I told him, I said, if y'all hear me holler like Gooby, be sure to call down with one because I probably fell in one of these holes. Anyway, guys, so I'm gonna try to go ahead and get outside. So we go ahead and wrap this thing up. Guys, this has been a really, really cool adventure for us. Guys, you know, this place calls me to it. I, I like it. it. It never ceases to amaze me. We always capture something every time we come here. But anyway, guys, you know, with that being said, I mean, you know, have we captured evidence here? Paranormal things happen here, absolutely, without a doubt, in my mind. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here so Chris and I can tell you bye. But anyway, guys, let's stay tuned. Let me get out of here without breaking my neck or falling in a hole and breaking my hip, you know. Anyway, hang tight, guys. Let me get out of here. What's up, guys? So I hit the 30-minute mark. Chris came to check on me. <laughs> guys, that was crazy. Uh, I can't wait to get home and listen to that audio footage. I'm more so interested in it than I am looking to see if we actually captured anything on the video footage, really, because, I mean, it's just crazy. I mean, I heard Wyatt twice over a period of about two seconds with that radio, <clears throat> with that SP7, scanning at 200 milliseconds. That should be, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, that should be about 10 different frequencies that it took for it so you can argue it you can try to debunk the ghost box all you want to but i promise you you're not going to have a station bleed over off of 10 different frequencies that's just not going to happen it's i mean you might get it from off of one tenth of a frequency or like 101.1 to 101.2 but i promise you you're not going to get it over 10 frequencies i mean unless the radio station's pushing out 2 million watts i promise you it's not going to happen and you're not going to catch the same voice say the exact same name in two seconds it's just not gonna happen all right guys with that being said be sure to let us know if you heard anything if you saw anything guys and the next video will be just as good but guys i promise you this one i think we're done with for right now so we're gonna get on out of here guys we're gonna head to the house i'm tired i know chris is tired ouija's hollering at him it's time to eat so <laughs> anyway guys we'll see you on the next one we love you we appreciate all the support you guys rock we'll see you again can you tell us your name? You told the young boy we are here. Can you tell me who you are? Who's here? <laughs>